Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I would like to introduce four objects to you that you can easily observe with your binoculars in night sky. So I would like to show you four objects that are very easy to find and they are bright enough to be visible through binoculars. I have observed all of these objects through binoculars, so in total I do have three different binoculars and I have observed these objects through these 10 by 50 binoculars and through these big 20 by 80 binoculars. And it definitely makes so much fun observing these objects through binoculars. But now I would like to start by introducing the very first object to you. So you can already see the object here in the background. So the very first object I would like to introduce is the Orion Nebula. So this is an image that I've captured of the Orion Nebula with my big telescope. So you will not see the Orion Nebula like this through binoculars, but I would like to show you how the Orion Nebula looks so that it is easier for you to find the object. So this is what the Orion Nebula looks through a telescope when collecting a lot of exposure time. So this image contains multiple hours of total exposure time. But when looking through binoculars, you can already see a few structures in these objects. So you can see a bit of this nebula right there. So when looking through binoculars, you can definitely see multiple structures in this object. So it is actually a very easy object to find. That's because there are multiple objects in that region. For example, this is a wide field image of the Orion constellation. So you can see the Orion Nebula right there. And right here you can see the horse head and the flame nebula. And it's very easy to find that object because these three stars right there, they are very, very easy to find in the night sky. So this is a wide field image of the Orion constellation. And right there you can see the Orion Nebula. And once again, you can see these three stars right there and uh, this bright star right there. So finding the Orion Nebula is very, very easy. But still it's very important that the conditions are good. So on the one hand, it's very important that you're observing these objects when there is a new moon. So when there's a full moon, the night sky is very bright, which makes observing these objects very, very difficult. So if you're planning to observe one of these objects, definitely make sure to observe these objects when there's a new moon. Furthermore, it's very important to escape the city light pollution, that's for sure. So when there's a lot of light pollution, it might be quite difficult to see those objects through binoculars. Still you, will, still, you will see them, but when the conditions are better, so when you're in a place with less light pollution, uh, it will be very easy for you to find these objects in the night sky. So it's very important that the conditions are good enough for observing these objects. The next object is a very easy object as well, and it's known as the Andromeda Galaxy. So when looking through these 20 by 80 binoculars, the galaxy will be a bit smaller. For sure you will see a few spiral arms right there, but um, this image once again has some total exposure time of a few hours, so you will not see the Andromeda Galaxy the way you can see it right there, but still there are a lot of structures that are visible in this galaxy, since it's a very, very bright one, and you can even see it without binoculars when the conditions are good. Now I would like to introduce the next object to you. This is the Dumbbell Nebula. It's a very bright object. When looking through binoculars, you will not see this green color, but you will see the structure of this nebula. This nebula is quite small compared to the Andromeda Galaxy or compared to the Orion Nebula, but still it's possible to observe this object through binoculars and it's definitely a great one because the structure is quite nice and you will definitely find this object because there are a few bright stars in that region which makes finding this object easy and on the other side due to the brightness of this object it's a quite easy object to find in the night sky. Now I would like to introduce the next object to you, which is one of the easiest objects to find in the night sky. So it's a double star cluster consisting of two different clusters, so NGC 884 and NGC 869. So it's a very, very uh, well-known star cluster in the night sky. It's very bright, which makes finding this object very, very easy. So in this case, this object is very, very big and bright. So we're looking through binoculars, you will see the two star clusters in your field of view, and they will be really, really big in your field of view. So this object is actually quite big, and it's great because there are a lot of structures in that area, which makes it a great object while looking through binoculars. So these are the four objects that I would like to introduce to you. They are very easy to find, and they're very, very bright but it's very important that the conditions are good enough at your location. So try to escape the city light pollution and try to observe these objects when there's a new moon, because when the conditions are good, you will see even more structures in these objects. If you have any further questions about finding these objects in night sky, or just in case you have any general questions about using binoculars for astronomy, feel free to ask me down below in the comments and it will definitely, definitely help you. If this guide in this video was helpful to you, I would really, really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.